The Yanks have had a number of injuries and COVID diagnoses over the past several weeks, and so I thought it would be appropriate to go through and kind of catch you up in case you haven't been able to pay close attention. I've seen a lot of questions in the post-game shows about this guy or that guy, so I wanted to get it all in one place for now and just kind of update you on where everyone is at. Let's start with Miguel Andujar. He's had a wrist injury. He has begun working out with the AA Somerset Patriots, according to Mike Ashmore of PatriotsBaseball.com. He took batting practice last week, but no word yet on when he will begin a rehab assignment. Garrett Cole has been on the COVID list, but he is coming off tonight to pitch against the Angels, so we'll see him in the Bronx this evening. Clint Frazier was on the injured list with a mystery illness. He had blurry vision. He underwent a number of neurological tests, and he was rehabbing. But yesterday he was scratched from the lineup. No word yet on why. I'd imagine we'll find out soon. I'm worried that he may not be back this season, but the way some other guys are playing, I don't think there's much room for him anyway. But let's hope he gets well soon. Aaron Hicks had wrist surgery, and he is out for the season. We are not going to see him again until 2022, if he even is on the team in 2022. He's under contract, but as poorly as he's played combined with the constant injuries, it wouldn't surprise me if the Yankees shipped him off this winter to anybody willing to take on at least a portion of that contract. Domingo Herman was shut down one start after he nearly no-hit the Boston Red Sox. He had some shoulder issues, but he threw a bullpen. Apparently, he feels fine. I'd imagine he'll throw another bullpen or two, and then he could be off to a rehab assignment. We'll still probably get him back in September, though it wouldn't surprise me if he moves to the bullpen with all the guys we've got coming back and the way that Nestor Cortez has been pitching out of the rotation. Corey Kluber, author of the Yankees' only no-hitter of the 21st century, has missed pretty much the entire season since that no-hitter. He has been rehabbing, and it looks like he's going to be back in about 10 days, somewhere between August 20th and August 30th, according to Brian Cashman and Aaron Boone. We should be seeing the clue bot down the stretch, which is great news because he was pitching fantastically before he got injured. Jordan Montgomery went on the COVID IL right around the same time as Garrett Cole, and word around the campfire is he's going to come off on Tuesday and pitch in one of the games against the Boston Red Sox. That should be fun. Anthony Rizzo is getting a cardiac workup on Monday at Yankee Stadium. Word is he could be back within, you know, five to ten days. No exact word, but if everything goes well today, he's feeling better. He'll probably do some baseball activities. I'd imagine we'll see him probably by next weekend. Gary Sanchez also headed back to the lineup and just in time to play in Boston because he absolutely rakes in Boston most of the time. He's healthy. He's been rehabbing. He's rested. I think we're going to see a big rest of the season from Gary Sanchez. Araldis Chapman is out right now with some arm issues. No word exactly on when he will be back. The Yankees could sure use him. The bullpen has been a mess. These guys don't really have enough footage with the Yankees for me to do anything cool on screen, but Tim LaCastro is out for the season. He had surgery on his knee. Darren O'Day also out for the season with surgery. Mike King is out indefinitely. It looked like he might be back soon, but then he was transferred to the 60-day IL. I haven't seen any updates lately on when he would rejoin the Yankees. And Luis Severino was scratched from his most recent start because he, quote, didn't feel right, so he gets the shrug emoji. Special shout out to the Patreon supporters and anyone else who has supported this channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it the old thumbs up and subscribe for more Yankees content year round. If you really enjoyed it, check out The Freeze. It's the official podcast of this channel. Or pick up some swag from the Teespring store. Link in the description. Thanks for watching.